An engineering project goes terribly wrong for a Texas teen when his teacher thinks a homemade clock is a bomb. It's a story that has parents all across the nation sounding off, including folks right here in Albuquerque. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is in the Newsplex with that story. Madeline? Well, Dean, the Irving, Texas freshman was trying to show his teacher his creation when he ended up in handcuffs at school. Three of fours right here. Piecing together scrap metal and computer parts, the 14-year-old took his creation, a homemade clock, to school Monday to show his teacher. But her reaction was not what he was hoping for. Far from it. She told me, it looks like a bomb. She was like, I'll take it from you right here. And like that, Ahmed Mohammed found himself in handcuffs at his Irving, Texas school. Confused, the boy was detained and taken from campus as police questioned him about the device. He told them simply, it's a clock. Having no other information to go on and taking into consideration the device's suspicious appearance and the safety of the students and the staff at MacArthur High School, the student was taken into custody for possession of a hoax bomb. Charges against Mohammed for having a hoax bomb have been dropped, but conversations about the incident are continuing nationwide, with many people saying the student was only cuffed over the clock because he's Muslim. Something Albuquerque parent Phil Sanders agrees with. Why single this kid out? And that's kind of what I was thinking. It's blatantly racist. But another local parent, Richard Weiss, thinks the school and police did exactly what they should have. And it's perfectly fine if they had him in handcuffs because it could have been a bomb, you know. And uh, if uh, it wasn't a bomb, it wasn't a bomb, but psh, who knows? This world's crazy. Now, President Obama even weighed in on the incident today. He tweeted, cool clock, Ahmed, and invited the teen and the clock to the White House. Dean, back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. The teen was suspended from school until tomorrow. He is now considering switching high schools.